Hero Games Launcher just released their new update, 2.5.0. The update is all around a massive improvement. But there's one feature I want to cover today, that being the ability to quote unquote sideload any games or apps onto the Hero Games Launcher. What do you mean by sideload games or apps? Well, it's simple really. You click on add a game and then configure all the settings. And Heroic will manage the prefixes and all that good stuff. You know, kind of like Lutris or Bottles. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of having Lutris and Hero Games Launcher and Bottles all at the same time. And guess what? You can now use Hero Games to manage your non-Steam, non-Epic, non-GOG titles. The first thing you'll want to do is update the Hero Games Launcher, or download it if you haven't already. Once you're in Hero Games Launcher, you'll then want to click on the Add a Game button. From there, you can name your game whatever you want. You'll then want to select your executable file. In this case, we're doing Fate Stay Night. And then you'll want to name your game accordingly. For whatever reason, Heroic will not let you use any dashes, colons, or slashes. Heroic should then automatically pull cover art for your game. And here you can select whatever version of Wine you want to use. In this case, you have access to Proton, Proton GE, Wine, and Wine GE and also Lutris Wine. You can select one and you're done. You can also change where your prefix is stored, but honestly, the default prefix location, it's in a pretty decent spot. Unfortunately, however, there are some caveats. Some games that work on Lutris without any sort of tweaking just don't work in Hero Games Launcher, and I couldn't tell you why. The most egregious of these obviously being Fate Stay Night. But to be honest, that wasn't the only one that had issues. I have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World through Ubisoft Connect, and I tried setting that up and everything too. I actually used Lutris to set everything up. All I really had to do was point Heroic Games Launcher to the executables and the prefixes. And unfortunately, it seems to be struggling with actually launching Ubisoft titles. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Of course, it's not to say that everything's broken. Some games work perfectly fine through this. Like this obscure Japanese title, Irisu Syndrome, a game that probably has no guides to getting it running on Linux, but works just fine without any sort of tinkering whatsoever. And of course, you can add your own custom Hero Games entries into Steam directly. Click on the game itself and then click on this icon and press Add to Steam. To see the change, you will need to restart Steam. Going to Game Mode constitutes as restarting Steam. So if you go straight to Game Mode from here, you should see the icon. And boy oh boy does it work. Currently, it's missing some artwork. It basically only really uses that front cover. And I do hope that Hero Games does remedy this immediately. It's not strictly necessary, but I am a bit OCD about having my game artwork all in the right place, especially if I add a non-Steam game to my Steam library, you know? For those of you looking forward to this update from Hero Games Launcher, it'll probably work fine for most games that you throw at it. But there's going to be a couple of games that just do not work, and for some reason work better under Lutris. You know, even without any installer scripts. And to be honest, there's no real discernible reason why that should be the case. And yet, it is. So you will have to keep Lutris and Bottles installed to cover most of your bases. On that note, I actually tried installing Ubisoft Connect. Technically, this is my Lutris install. But for whatever reason, Scott Program seems to not want to run. But I know for a fact that it runs when I run it through Lutris. And I mean, yeah, I wasn't expecting to work out of the box, but the Ubisoft launcher launches just fine. It's just that I can't actually run any games. Whereas, you know, on Lutris, I can. But you know, Lutris has a lot of installation scripts that help out with this stuff. And you know what, I shot the developer some suggestions, including potentially looking at Lutris's scripts to see how they work and if they can be adapted to use outside of Lutris. You know, like on Heroic Games. I don't really know the legality of this, but I'm assuming it's okay, right? Whatever the case may be, I do hope that the Hero Games Launcher team works on this feature and makes it a lot better. Another feature I wish they really had was a log feature. Lutris has an especially handy log feature that you can use. This log reports things in real time, including any issues, which of course can be used to debug games if they're not running as intended. It would have been really handy in trying to get some of these games to work, but unfortunately, I can't seem to find the feature, so. But enough about this feature in particular, let's talk about the other features in release 2.5.0 of Heroic Games Launcher. The second most prominent feature is of course the download manager. Prior to this update, the downloading experience was, let's just say, pretty bad. But now that we have this, 
it's actually pretty decent. That said, I do wish we had more features though, like the ability to move titles up in the queue, or perhaps even temporarily pause a game to download a different game that's in our queue. You know, kind of like what we can do with Steam. But hey, baby steps. And finally, I want to talk about themes. Within the accessibility menu, you have access to zoom options, font options, but most importantly, theme options. While we've always had theme options in the Heroic Games launcher, you now have the option to create your own custom themes if so desired. Currently in the custom themes repo, I see exactly one custom theme, the high contrast theme. And by the looks of the theme, it seems that you really only need to know basic CSS to be able to create your own custom theme. I don't really know the limits of the theming engine that they use, but I'm sure someone smarter than I will figured that out. They even have this little widget here from how long to beat. It'll tell you how long the game will take to beat as well as how long it'll take to 100% the game. Heck, Hero Games will tell you if a game's not available because you swapped the SD card. Or it'll tell you if a game doesn't work because of various reasons like anti-cheat or perhaps, you know, dumb bullshit like Origin. Hero Games was always a pretty good application to have on your Steam Deck, especially if you owned a bunch of free games on Epic Games or perhaps you're a heavy GOG user. The additions in this update make it a more valuable app than ever before, though not all of its additions are a slam dunk as expected. More specifically, the part where you can quote unquote sideload games. Many games do work through this method, but others don't work, especially more obscure titles and titles that require specific launchers, like the Ubisoft launcher. As for everything else, everything else is a massive quality of life improvement. The download manager is a massive improvement and really should have been in Heroic from the start, but you know what, I'm glad it's here right now. And custom themes can really add some pop to the Heroic Games launcher. But honestly, it really depends on how much they're willing to let you change it up. And finally, the various messages that tell you if a game's not available or if a game doesn't work properly. Those help out immensely instead of just trying to find out if a game works properly or not, you know? If you like this video, you should check out the rest of my channel. And if you like the rest of my channel, you should like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. When you click on the bell icon, you're ensuring that you'll be one of the first to watch my new video when it releases. And for more high-tech lowlife, check out our Discord server. Link's always in the description.